Sephiroth was just recently released, and I've got to say I did not see that coming. There's actually four entire remixes now, and I was never expecting the Final Fantasy series to have better representation than any of the other series. I think it's pretty likely that we won't be getting any more Square Enix characters, so the one character they ended up going with wasn't just from a new Square Enix franchise, no, he wasn't even from a new Final Fantasy game, he's literally from the same game as Cloud. This isn't really something you expect to see with third party franchises. I honestly would have expected a completely different franchise from Square, and it's what makes Sephiroth such a surprise to me. Not that it's a bad thing at all though. But it did make me look back at the DLC though, and it, it does show how weird and some expected some of these choices are, at least in my opinion. I'm not saying this is a bad thing at all, it, it definitely keeps you on the edge of your seat, having no clue what's coming out next, but on the flip side, it makes predictions very difficult. I'll start by saying that there are a few things we can rule out. Any me costumes or spirits or anything added into the game after it released, I really do feel like that conflicts with DLC. Uh, three of my previous predictions have been added in as me costumes, so I think it's safe to say that none of them are going to become playable. I just think it makes no sense why they would include these characters as me costumes knowing that they are going to be releasing them as playable characters pretty soon. Otherwise, I stand by thinking that assist trophies have no chance of becoming characters. Min Min pretty much confirms this belief for me. Uh, you know, you can use the Shizu protagonist argument all you want, but I'm 99% certain that the only reason they actually went with Min Min was because Springman was already in an assist trophy. I think ARMS is the only franchise in Smash with playable characters that doesn't have its main character or its most iconic character playable. It is definitely an exception, and you know, if Min Min was that important in the first place, why wasn't she the assist trophy instead of Springman? So yeah, I, I do think that it does deconfirm any assist trophies. Really, I don't think any of this matters anyway, because I don't think the assist trophies or spirits or anything even have a shot of being playable, because they're most likely just going to be third party characters anyway from new franchises. Anyway, into my predictions. The first character I have, or idea I guess, is another Nintendo character. I know I just said the characters are more likely going to be third party, but I do think there's a good shot that there'll be at least one more first party character playable by the end of Smash Ultimate. The most likely reason for this would just be for flat out marketing for Nintendo games. And to be fair, considering that there aren't really any Nintendo games coming out on the horizon, or at least right now, it, it's hard to say what they could do with a character. The biggest idea off the top of my head would be a Gen 8 Pokemon, which I think has a shot of happening. Maybe someone like Cinderace or uh, you know what, I actually don't really know, I haven't even played the game. Not the most exciting idea for a new character, at least in my opinion, but I think it's likely nonetheless. Maybe there could be a new Zelda character. We haven't had a new Zelda character since Melee, unless you want to count Toon Link. And I think the characters in general are just poorly done anyway. Breath of the Wild only really came out a few years ago, and it's one of the most important games of the past few generations. We just had Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity a few months back, and we have the sequel on the horizon maybe hopefully next year, so I think, you know, all this and we haven't had a new Zelda character, it's a bit of a shame, so I, I think it's more than deserving and I really hope we get at least someone. Maybe Impa, I think Impa stands a good shot, she's in a lot of the games and she has a really cool moveset in Age of Calamity, I would be down for her. Otherwise, the only other character I can really think of at this point would be Rex, or whoever, from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, it is one of the bigger Switch games, uh, and it has pretty much nothing in Smash. It's a shame that one of Monolith's most successful games has very little attention in Smash, so, so I at least hope that Rex becomes playable, if not even in the DLC in the next Smash game, whenever that is. The second character prediction I have is Crash Bandicoot. You know, pretty out there prediction, I get it, you don't have to tell me twice. The main reason I chose Crash is that I think that he's by far the largest gaming icon that's not in Smash. I can only really think of a couple other characters that even come close, and otherwise Crash dwarfs everyone in my opinion. Obviously he would fit in very well with Mario and Sonic as the trio of 90s console mascots. Uh, his cartoony design would fit in very well with the rest of the Nintendo characters, not that that matters, but it's worth mentioning. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past few years, you should know that he has had a massive resurgence in the past few years as well. Uh, two great remakes, uh, you know, even a brand new game that just came out this year. He is just as relevant as ever. He definitely could work for marketing for the Crash games. You know, a lot of the other uh, third party characters uh, were pretty much used just for marketing. There's some counter arguments, for instance, he's a Western character. Which, I mean, especially after Steve, I don't really see how that's an issue, and he is pretty popular in Japan anyway. This might be a bit of an extreme take, but 
I really do think Crash is the most likely third party character. I'm not saying it's guaranteed at all, and I would not be surprised in the slightest if he wasn't included in the end. I think he personally has the highest chance out of every character, even if it's only something like a 5% chance. My final character is a Capcom character. Besides Ken, which I don't really count because he's an Echo, there hasn't actually been a new Capcom character in Smash Ultimate at all, which is very unfortunate in my opinion considering Capcom has a massive library of franchises and potential characters that are very deserving in my opinion. First, we can definitely rule out Resident Evil because of the Spirit event. I know we had Sephiroth, but I am leaning towards it not being another Mega Man or Street Fighter character, a uh, Mega Man in particular because the best character is already in the game. Although there is some merit to Street Fighter, Chun-Li in particular could be a great choice. There's obviously a bunch of other franchises too, like Ace Attorney with Phoenix Wright, or my personal pick would be Madarasu from Okami, but I think I've ruled it down to two characters in particular, the first being Dante from Devil May Cry, obviously we had the fifth game not that long ago, but I'm going to place my bets on Monster Hunter from, if you weren't aware, the Monster Hunter games. I say that because it's a very, very popular franchise, probably the most popular Capcom franchise right now. It's the biggest JRPG franchise without a character in Smash, so I do feel like there's a good chance. Regardless, even though Rathlos is in Smash, I still think that Monster Hunter Avatar guy stands a pretty good chance as a playable character. Anyway, I guess that's the end of the video. If you disagree with my predictions, which I'm pretty sure you do, please leave a comment down below. I read all my comments and I might reply, I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, thanks for watching. I was initially planning on updating my character predictions every time a new character was revealed, but yeah, I guess that never ended up happening, so... <laughs> Sorry for making everyone wait, if you care, that is. Anyway, I plan on uploading a bit more frequently from this point onwards, so if you're interested in my content, uh, please consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon, maybe, I don't know, bye.